to the situation at the Chelsea Soldiers' Home where veterans are in quarantine after two of them died. WBZ Chief Investigator Reporter Cheryl Fiadaka has the details tonight. A white tent set up near a cleaning company van sat outside the soldiers' home in Chelsea, where two residents have died, and sources say five others have symptoms of COVID-19. The I team talked to a family member of a resident who didn't want to be identified, but fears for their loved ones. I think everyone there is uh, vulnerable, just you know, due to the, their medical conditions and you know, the communal living. Last month, the I team reported a worker tested positive for coronavirus. State veterans. Affairs said the facility was cleaned and workers were notified and quarantined. Well, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Soldiers Home is a, uh, is a terrific institution and they followed all the rules and protocols. But sources say the facility was still using the cafeteria for meals and allowing residents to go off campus. I believe that they should be testing everyone. If they don't test everyone, they're not going to be sure exactly who has it and who doesn't. I did ask. I believe the response was, well, we don't have the tests available for that. Chelsea is now the second Massachusetts-run soldiers' home for veterans where residents have died after contracting COVID-19. In Holyoke, 13 veterans have died in that state facility, and several others are ill. Steve Connor is a veterans advocate. At this point, do you think everyone is doing enough to keep these veterans safe? I'm not sure. I, I'm hoping. Uh, it sounds like the light that's being shined in the Hoyoke is going to help. But if, if people were not being separated and quarantined two weeks ago, a week ago, then unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of bad things happening for a little while there. Late today, the state said it did begin testing in Chelsea. So far, two staff members and two residents have tested positive for COVID-19. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. On well, Steve Connor just mentioned the tragedy in Holyoke. Two more veterans who lived at the Holyoke Soldiers' Home have died, and that makes 15 in all. Governor Baker's office says Attorney Mark Perlstein will lead an independent investigation into the deadly outbreak there. The superintendent of the home is on leave.